Greetings, my movie ghouls. Welcome to another episode of Halloween Countdown. 31 films in 31 days. Tonight is day seven. I can't remember. I'm lost already. And we watched The Night Flyer by Stephen King. So what's the story? Um, <laughs> just just throw it in. Um, it is about a journalist um, who I think has fallen from grace type yeah. thing, fallen out of favour. He doesn't get the front covers no, anymore. No, he'd, he'd been a, probably a bit of a big deal. And I think it's meant to be like, what's that paper? Like a rank. Yeah, but like there's that thing in America where it's always in the X-Files. Yeah, and like the, alien the, the stuff, thing like at the end of Men in Black. Yeah, like the National, uh, Inquirer. National Inquirer. There you go. Um, and I think it's meant to be that type of like newspaper magazine. He's the reporter, and he's offered a story about um, somebody who lands in an airport in at night time, like a little deadbeat airport in the middle of nowhere, and mm. kills people and then disappears Flies basically. Away. Um, and he passes the story over, and he's on with a different story. Um, and this new girl, and he calls her Jimmy Olsen, doesn't he? Because she's all fresh faced and bright eyed and wants yeah. to do well. Um, she wants to befriend him to try and understand like how he was successful and how he's been around for so long. And he's just really, I think he just hates his life. He's bit, he's probably got no family, no friends. Mm. He's quite, he's really not a likable character. No, he's not. And he, <laughs> he gives her one bit of advice though. Yeah, yeah, but it's not really advice, is it? It's just him being no. an asshole. Yeah. Um, and then she ends up taking this story um, and he goes on to something else, but then there's another report comes in because she, she starts she to use She discovers it though, doesn't she? Yeah. Well, she oh, yeah. It's quite funny because they reference that computer thing of hers. <laughs> the, the electric box. Yeah. The, um, the she magical basically internet. is like probably scanning stuff and yeah. looking for start, and then she Similar sees stories. there's another one, another a couple of murders. Um, so they're like, I'm guessing he's the boss, isn't he? The editor yeah. guy. So he yeah. gives it back to this guy and says, look, there's been another killing. You sure you don't want to do it? It's going to be a big story, front page. <laughs> like dangling a carrot and he's like, right, okay, I'm going to do it. Yeah. They take, or they try and take all, all her research. Well, they do. Yeah. He, he makes her hand it over to him and then she, she has to go off. Yeah. Um, but then the sort of he again goes off investigating, doesn't he? And he flies his own plane as well, yeah. little Cessna sort of thing, or Cessna, whatever they're called. Yeah. Um, flies to Maine. No, that's not Maine. <laughs> <laughs> flies to Maine first, and yeah, and like she's back at the office, and then the editor, for whatever reason, gets her back into it, doesn't he? he gets well, her. but there's a weird cut the, of where he's yeah. in the office. He gets her to go out and chase her own story. I think she uncovers something else, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, well, she's still trying to solve it. On the computer box. On the computer box. box, on the electric box. And uh, the, 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 the arsehole uh, reporter guy contacts the editor and says about what he's got, and the editor wants to publish now. But he won't, he won't he do it yet. Big of a story. So he decides to send the new reporter out to get there first. Or try and get the publish, but like you say, there's a cut scene it's where really weird <laughs> he sends. It, I don't. I can't remember what it was now, but it's it sort of like he sends them both out to to work against each other. And she ended. Well, she's staying in the hotel because she's oh, yeah. in at the same time because he's already sent her out. Yeah, yeah. And they end up staying in the hotel. But he's in his clip, office at night. It's like a really weird, <laughs> cheesy clip of him like laughing madly, <laughs> and you think that he was somehow yeah. involved in the. The killings because he was so bizarre, but he wasn't. No, he was wasn't weird. because you don't see him after that point. Yeah, he's just like a douchebag, yeah. he's a freak. 
Um, <laughs> he's a freak. But it was well, it, it, it's um, very <laughs> eclectic film. Uh, you know what? Very it, it's aged. very aged. It's very nineties. It's 90s. only nineteen ninety seven. Yeah. So I don't. For me, I don't think that's a particularly old film. But what it's it seems to be like is it's a TV film. I don't know if it was a TV film, but it, the music is very. Yeah, it made for straight for TV. Yeah. TV, I would say. I don't know whether it. Well, I can't imagine it being in the cinema. It's no. very. And the version we watched wasn't HD. No, so it wasn't. It, it was very feel, dated. Very old yeah. school, didn't it? But the, you said something at the end which uh, made me think, and you, you're absolutely right. It. You said it was sort of like a monster of the week X Files episode, mm. and I think that's probably why I really liked it. <laughs> I, I've never seen it before. Look, it was very familiar. Yeah, you probably read the book because it's. I, I don't know. Unless it isn't, I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't know. I don't remember any of the film, but there was bits of it, and I thought, oh, that feels really familiar. Like you, yeah, because the first line wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, a couple you were of like... things. Um, <laughs> I have to say, it, and it was a bit of a cheese fest, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Proper hammy. Oh, I didn't mind the main character. He's a real he, asshole. Yeah, he's been in loads he, of he things. He plays it really well, yeah. and you really do. You don't like him. You don't have any it's empathy like, for him. Yeah, he's he's driving down the 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 road, and he says, "Ah, over no over time." Like oh yeah, yeah, bonus. And it turns out there's been a a. a, a Collision, car collision, car collision and there's bodies death, on the floor. Car crash. So he goes out and starts goes taking out photographs. Starts taking photos and like the policeman's trying to stop him and he's just, he's just swears. Get off, man! Yeah, he just swears at him and tells him he's, he, he's a horrible person. It's not nice because he, and the, there's a line earlier on where he says, you don't know what I had to do to the coroner to get into the morgue to take a picture of a, a baby, a, a dead baby. And that's, yeah. that's how he's introduced, yeah. that he's just taken pictures of a dead baby, the but dead they haven't. Baby that his mother's killed. Yeah, it, but yeah. they haven't. Put it on the front page. Yeah, and he was gutted. Yeah, he was gutted, and it's, and like, it's like, like, yeah, he, he's not a nice person. So the <laughs> kind of, well, then the story unfolds as he starts investigating. He, he's like, and this is a bad as well. Like yeah. one of the people who's just been killed, they buried him. Yes. And he starts destroying his grave, and like cuts his hand and puts blood because yeah. he's trying to make it look like something's happened. Yeah. He's um, trying to make it look worse. Story. Yeah. And, but then he kind of gets the connection with, with it's called the night flyer, yeah. isn't he? Um, because he lands in a plane, yeah. which is from Dracula, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Is it Jonathan Renfield? No, no, uh, Jonathan Harker. Oh yeah, of course. But yeah. It, Renfield was the one who went first and becomes his minion, but yeah. isn't allowed to become a vampire, so he bugs right. Renfield. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember. I don't, I'm not really to admit, I'm not really we watched Bram Stoker's Dracula last year. Renfield is in it, but he's not in it much because they went for Keanu. Well, anyway, this I I um, it, I thought it was gorgeous. I did. <laughs> what you can't you couldn't absolutely love it because I think it's too dated. But I have to say, I did really enjoy it. What I think it is is the majority of the, the the majority of the film is is this guy. He's reporting on stuff, and and there's little drips and drabs of, of a supernatural stuff. thing that's going on but it he yeah, gets the connection doesn't yeah. he? he has like a sort of a flat not even a flashback like a flash yeah. connection and with whatever this thing is that's killing people yeah and the bodies are, are, have got like two puncture wounds but in the huge. necks but massive not like little vampire prints yeah. so you don't really know what's happening but he wears the old people who've seen him so doing the bella lugosi he sort of the cape and it was yeah. red inside and so it's very, and it's a bit tongue-in-cheek the, the, parts. And that's it, but I think, if I'd have watched this when I was younger, I think it scared me. Because, like, the, you know, part of one of the guys had been decapitated yeah. and, like, one had been slashed some, out some of the, I suppose, what, like you said, it wasn't in HD, but some of the special effects and the, and the props were yeah, really, the really good. His, well, one guy had had his throat ripped out. It was showing you his head. So it was like as if he'd had his head tipped back and when yeah. it's panned round, he's just the throat is totally <laughs> gone. And I was like, you know, it didn't scale up no. me now, but I think if I'd have watched it when I was quite yeah. young, I'd have been a bit of oh God. It's quite and surprising. The, the bit at the end, no we're jumping forward, but the bit there's a bit in the end where he's in an airport where they said, Oh, he won't ever touch that airport because it's, it's too, too big. big, there's too many people. Well then it he looks did, like he, is. He, he absolutely kills everybody, doesn't he? Yeah. He goes on an absolute rampage. Um, and he, he kind of says to him, you'll 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 go to hell type thing. He makes mm. him drink his blood. So you go to hell, you come back again. Yeah, and it, it's kind of like 
it's all like low fog on the floor. Yeah, it's and you, such at a the good beginning, scene. Yeah, you see all these like things just moving, moving. slightly in a hand, and, and I just found that really creepy. I mean, well, I, I found it a bit creepy now. I saw it when I was younger. But it wasn't scary, but it would have been, I think. So, yeah. Yeah, and if you're easily scared, it probably would disturb you a little I'm bit. I'm easily scared, so. Yeah, it was, it, well, it was. It, it, that end scene is, is, is quite brilliant because you, you have all these dead people coming up from the ground and coming to get him and are we going to swell the twist people uh, from his past yeah things. yes yeah because he he mentions to the new reporter that the the one who she's replacing got too involved in a story and killed herself mm. and then she appears at the end as yeah. well and we, we're going for spoilers as well so we may as well it's it's 22 years old so, yeah so. that's Jesus Christ. Yeah, if you haven't seen it now. 97 was only a few years ago. <laughs> Wasn't um, Yeah, so he, he, the vampire makes him drink his blood. He sees all these people coming up to get him. He grabs an axe and starts swinging because he thinks he's in hell. And then two cops appear and say, freeze. And it turns out he's been chopping up all the dead people. So he's sort it of just been... looks like he's, he's the done one. it. Like he's gone insane and he's created the story. Yeah. And as if he's just gone in and Which, it. from the, his actions throughout the film, you could actually see him mm -hmm. doing that. So it's not... No, because other people look like the guy had caught him. Yeah. When he, I said he was messing up the grave and trying to put blood on it. Like a, an undertaker guy yeah. caught him doing it. So they probably he would collaborate yeah. the stories. But then the young... You call her Jimmy Olsen, didn't he? Yeah. Um, she arrives. She, she's not far behind because she knew what was going on at this yeah. airport. She was trying to get there. But he, he was a bit of a git to it. Yeah, he locked her in. Again, he locked her in because she helped him. He, did, he didn't want her to get to the story first. Whittle the lift down. Yeah. yeah, and then he pushed her in the clo closet and locked yeah. her in. So she can't, he, like I say, he's awful. Yeah, he's not nice. So he's got his comeuppance, really. But then, yeah, then she <laughs> takes a photo of him and goes, because the police shoot him dead, obviously. So when yeah. he acts like crazy. And then she goes, yeah, you lose. And she That's got Richard the Richard Deeks, cover. the night flyer. Yeah, we call him the night flyer. Yeah. And then... He's then on a, a on, picture of yeah. him dead, which is what he was doing to everybody he's, else. He's back on the front page, but... He's back on the front page, you, but he's the victim, yeah. but also he's portrayed he's as the, the night He's the night flyer. But you know what? I've just realised it reminded me of kind of a Tales from the Crypt. It did, with the comics yeah, with, and stuff. with the yeah. ending. Yeah. And it's like, he got his byline in the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was maybe what the, the jump back to his weird edit, because he kind of sounded like that. I would recommend watching it. I honestly would. It's it. You have to look past. Yeah. It's dated, and you can tell it's dated. Yeah. But I actually really enjoyed it. I did. It. I really I did. did. It was yeah. like I didn't think I was gonna. I was thinking, oh god, here we go. <laughs> and I did. I don't. You know. Yeah. I the said the it. one thing is that if you've seen DVD cover or whatever, the poster of it is of a plane taking off with a bat underneath, but above it is is the vampire. And the film works in a way that you don't see the vampire's face until the very end. No. So the actual cover ruins the film. Because I said to you, didn't I? Yeah. I said to you, it's a vampire film. And then I thought, hang on, we don't find that out until the end, so I'm ruined it for you. <laughs> it's pretty obvious it was a vampire, to be fair. But mm. no, I, I I really enjoyed it. I'm going to give it four. Four films. ghouls. Yeah, I did enjoy it. I'm going to match you with four ghouls too. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Give it a whirl. I, yeah. it, one that definitely passed me by. Yeah. I didn't see it. If you like the X Files, yeah. you will love this. And yeah. love the X Files. And there we are. Yeah. Well, I don't know what's tomorrow night, so you'll just have to stay tuned. Uh, sorry, this is late tonight, but again, we've had a late night. Uh, thanks know. for what you've been away. Been away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stressed. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe, like, and share the videos, and. Tune in tomorrow night for another Halloween countdown. 31 films in 31 days. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>